Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever European Free Play Edition. And in the last episode, we got a food line from over here in West Malling by ships, run up here to a food processing plant in Salterton. And I ran things forward a little bit, but I just wanted to show that indeed the food processing plant is producing food, it is delivering food, and it is of course demanding more livestock. Try to deliver more livestock? Yep, well we can, we just need the food processing, or rather the farm here, to start producing more. And more and more and more. So yeah, we got two on there, so it's, it's supplied four to that. That was four as well, so indeed. You got only three. And our first ship that we set up, ship number one, it's coming back in here to pick up 12 units of livestock. So about that. What is the frequency of our various lines? Well, RF Salterton is four minutes. We have RF West Mulling, seven minutes. West Mulling Farm is 58 seconds. Salterton Food is 116 seconds. And we have seven minutes on the West Mulling Salterton line. And so we are making a small bit of profit, but with how things are going, yeah, it's May 17th and we are still losing money. We have made 57.4k in water income and 18.4k in road income. We are paying, or we have paid a total of 59, almost 60k in run costs for the water. And we've, so yeah, chips apparently can make a quite a decent chunk of money. Yeah, about that. I've never really bothered with ships just because of the default water is never like this. <laughs> it's never like this and this is a refreshing change compared to what we had before. So that is hauling 12 away. And it's just a matter of our farm ramping up. It's going up to 160. Bouncing around 160. You know what? Try to ship more livestock. How about you actually supply us more livestock? How about that? Yeah. We will ship out everything that you give us. And our ship number two is coming back. And over here we can see that. Are we? Oh, we are getting. Wow. We're getting eight food for salt or for West Mulling. Interesting. That's coming in with 12 food. And that is leaving with nothing. Alright, so wow. We are now going to be able to. That is interesting. You'd figure it would prioritize supplying Salterton first. Yet when we look at this, this truck has not even delivered it has not even made any money there is commercial within range of this truck station here although with that said are any of these commercials well we got one commercial building within range of this station here I expect the commercial and industrial to rush down this way because reasons and you dropped off or you he probably dropped off and you're dropping off food and it looks like you got some food nice all right well what I'm going to do we're going to put two more horse wagons on salted and food and you are grabbing 11 food nice so just curious is this Customers, interesting. So it's at 22% coverage. Environment, 50%. Really? Supply rating is 0%. Shopping facilities, vacant, none. Interesting. 
That's a little bit more detail than I think I've seen. And this ship is coming in. We have 16 units sitting here. That is nice. We have seven there. So what I want to do, we are going to put in... Nope. We need to set this to livestock buy. And yeah, I could have reconfigured it there. And yeah, as we ramp this up, as we ramp that up, the farm will, of course, should produce more. Up to production of 200. Let's just shift that there. And you have three of four. And you are not carrying anything right now. You are picking up 24 units of livestock. Yep. Farm, just keep producing. Get as much of that produced as possible. We have 198k in the bank. We have made 82k from water vehicles. And we've spent about 90k in property maintenance. Or not, pro yeah, property maintenance. Running costs, 87k. 98k yeah it's going to take some time for this to ramp up into profitability and we have three units sitting here and that has four units we are currently looking at a 52 second frequency here 90 second frequency there those have made some money this is barely losing any money yeah the problem that we're going to be facing is of course the loan interest plus um, plus the property maintenance we are barely breaking even we need more water income a lot more We're actually making a profit on the roads. That's the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, regardless, the roads always make a profit. As long as you're hauling both ways. Oh, wow. And you are haul hauling four food into town. go we got another four food over here we have a production of 160 and 400 and you picked up four unfortunately yeah we need a lot more food coming in we have 16 and this one is just coming in right now. Nice. It drops off food and picks up livestock. That is nice. As we can see, we do have one commercial building there. You are hauling four. We have another seven sitting there. So what I might do, we're going to throw another horse wagon on the line. Although with that said, it might be a little bit of excessive. So... Yeah, about that. Two units of livestock, three units, and picked up. One unit, two units. We have 169k in the bank. 130k in running costs or income for the road vehicles we've made about 200k and running costs we are making a profit on our lines overall unfortunately yeah we haven't really covered the cost of new vehicles <laughs> uh, 
new vehicles and loan interest and property maintenance costs. All right, what I want to do, we're gonna throw another horse wagon on the line. Although, yeah, we have two vehicles here. One will be able to pick up and the other will have a partial load to pick up. But by the time the second one gets there, it may have a full load as well. This will, of course, ramp up the frequency. We're up to a production of dipping to 224. It's bumping up. And we have 11 livestock sitting here. We have another ship coming in. That's fine. And you are dropping off 22 livestock. And let's just turn on symbols. We only have nine sitting here right now. We have two units of food sitting at the RF Salterton. We have four units sitting there. We have four livestock coming, another four, another four, and another four. So, so far what I've been doing seems to be keeping the frequency up, seems to be keeping the production going. And we have 15 units sitting here. This is rolling in. Another ship over there. 19 units. And yeah, what I'm probably going to want to do. We'll just keep one truck on the line. We don't need a second one. We don't have enough goods coming in here to warrant one. And what I would like to do, buy ships. We can just barely afford to buy another Wilhelm. And it is January 1st, 1852. We have here five units. Let's buy another horse wagon, although we have another one coming. It is, of course, oh, not enough money. Bother. That's right. We won't then. And yeah, we'll very quickly recover this. So we made an income of 250K last year. We had 176K in running costs. Our property maintenance was 71K, so that is about 250-ish. Okay, well, we're barely covering our expenses. Well, we're not covering our expenses. Yeah, I bet that. All right, so this one is picked up 25 livestock. We have another ship rolling in, and it's only going to probably pick up another seven-ish. Oh, no, we picked up a few more. And it's heading up with 11, that's fine, because I did add a second vehicle on the line. We do want to add more vehicles just to increase the frequency. You're carrying 23. You have four for RF Sultraton. And you know what? We're going to set you to just run. We're going to want to keep this going. We only have a negative balance of 13K. We have a total loss this year of 14.8K. Another one there. We have 15 livestock, 18 livestock waiting here. It'll be picked up by this ship, which is hauling nine units of food. And this will drop off and make us nine point two two K. Alright, I bet that. 
So about 1k per unit of food off of the destruction. So in one run, this should make a potential income of 50k. Right now we have 51.2k in income versus 46.5k in running costs. Yeah, they're struggling to make a little bit of profit there. And we have seven units sitting here. Uh, we had this start of the month. If I can, I'd like to put another horse wagon on the line. Presuming we can, of course, get 13.7k. I just need 32k ish to come in before the end of the month. Although at this rate, yeah, I'm probably not going to need it. No, we're not going to bother. I think we have a good enough frequency on the line. 47 second frequency, not bad. And all of our lines are making a profit. Although with that said, A, we have 22.9K. It looks like our water pulled off. We're making a profit of 40K there. Income, 147K on 97K running costs. That's a, yeah, three to two right there. And we have another one leaving with 20 units. We have 16 units sitting here. And we have another nine units returning. We have 1.29K in the bank. It is halfway through the month. I would like to buy another horse wagon. Bump the frequency up slightly. Let's buy it. We have the money. West Mauling Farm. Production is up to 208. Potential 244. Yeah, try to ship more livestock. Well, deliver it to me. You have 20 units sitting in your storage. We have four units sitting here. That's the thing. This needs lots of livestock. This needs a ton of livestock. Give me it on credit. Just dump what you have. I'll get it there. I'll get it produced. And then you can produce even more. You have 668 potential. And West Mauling is up to 56 of 292. Interesting. Okay. And 52 of 516. And we have 12 units sitting here. And so that dropped off. Did it affect this any? This one up to 19%. You know what? I might just... If you're hauling in one unit... Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to buy another one for the RF West Mullen. We have a positive balance of 10k in the bank. Oh, end of the month. And we have 21 units of food for livestock. If we come back here. Oh wow, we got lots of livestock sitting here, so we are definitely going to want to add if, if we had the money. Although that said, let's borrow 500. Salterton food.
Production of 200. Come on, farm. Ramp up that production. You're spoiling just enough to fill up my trucks as they come in. And you are yeah, picking up full load. And you are picking up just three of four. You're gonna pick up three of four. And you are picking up 19 units of livestock. You are coming in with three units of food. Let's buy another horse cart for our Sultriton. And a couple more for Sultriton food. Production is up to a 240. That is good. 252 potential. Uh, yeah, we really need to ramp up the potential. It's up to 768. Hmm. What can we do to ramp up the potential without? Yeah, somewhat low cost, ideally. Uptum upon Severn. What kind of name is that? You know what? I'm going to rename you. You're just going to be called Upton because of reasons. <laughs> what I would like to do... That's the thing. Do we run a freight line down to here? Right now, our production and demand. Sultraton. We're only supplying 10% of the town's needs and 22%. Like, we're nowhere near saturating things. We are limited on the food processor with how much uh, livestock we bring in. Each of these carries four. Yeah, that's the thing. We need more food being produced or livestock that we can turn into food. Oh, six. We are going to ramp this up. We are going to buy another one West Mulling Farm we take a look at our profitability our ship line is making 97.3 K profit our sultry food 57.7 K our West Mulling Farm 22.3 K this is not surprising just because this is hauling one direction whereas this is hauling two directions West Mulling Farm 21.5 K yep West Mulling these are making a profit, which is nice. Of course, it all depends on us actually getting enough goods to supply our current capacity. We have four sitting there. We have 22 units sitting there. You are bringing back six. We have 40, 131k in the bank. When am I going to see some significant profits? We're losing 69.2k on the year. So we're not losing as much as we did before. It is October, or the almost the end of October. We've made more this year in yeah, income. We've gone from 250k up to 359k. We had Property maintenance. Okay, and water. Water's kind of lagging me. Actually, no, that's running costs. Yep, yeah, about that. 
Water income, 236 on 156. Road, 123 on 45. <laughs> yeah, I bet that. It is only 1852, so I'm not surprised. This is taking a little bit longer than normal. Normally, it would just do a simple run, although if I remember how things went, it took about 20 or 30 years with a few decent routes to get out, get into profitability. What I might want to start doing is looking at another potential chain just to be able to hmm, get some increased profits going. Dunwich stone here, possibly. We have stone here, construction materials here. Do not want to do that. Because that's one way, that's no way to make a decent profit. We got oil refinery here, oil refinery here. We got oil well there. Hmm. Quarry here. If I wanted to set up another shipping line, I can go from here, over to here, back to here. Is there another industry chain closer to home though? Still here. Do I have any iron ore over here? <laughs> Get into iron ore this uh, quickly? Not really. Or getting into steel? Um, actually, do I have a oil refinery over on this side of the map? Right there. From here over to there. And then back into grays. We could even then ship um, oil going that way, quite possibly. You know what? I just might do that. We're going to invest. I've only borrowed an extra million dollars on top of our starting loan. So yeah, about that. All right, where would I want to set up Freight Harbor? If I do anything, probably want a Freight Harbor here. We could also, hang on just a moment. All right, so I end up resetting my key bindings and I have to reconfigure everything. Uh, we're going to go with three docks because it's not any more expensive. We could go in that direction. Or we can go right side. And just go off in that direction. Do that and go to small country road. And that is connected. So we are going to want and actually we could then supply Jersley. Relatively easy. We could use this as a freight harbor to bring goods into Dursley as well, since Dursley is not exactly on the coast. We have, first of all, let's just connect this up. Over 
to boot there. We're going to want left side dock. some money Let's borrow another 500,000 inside navigable waters should be a lot simpler just because we'll just need to put ships on the line and none of the road lines having to balance those as well and we just want to run this to there we're gonna buy ships we want the Zoroaster which costs 225k Wow all right well we are going to new line this is going to be oil from there over to there and this is going to be SF Gray's oil uh, oil and fuel we are going to want to run a truck line and we're just going to throw this First, we will build the road into Graze. Right there. And up to there. although that's not going to connect and yet that should connect there although 29.2k yeah but that want road depot right there we're going to buy a horse wagon the first we want to deliver into the industrial part of town. So if I bring this over into here. That gets that. If I bring this into here. Gets that, but not that. Um, hmm. Let's go right there for now. I could always put a second one somewhere. Possibility. Actually, we'll throw it right about there. Mm. And now we are going to want to. Uh, no, not that. Buy road vehicles. Horse wagon. We're going to want. To new line going from here down to here down to here I'm gonna call this RF graze RT1 
oil transfer. We're gonna color this, yeah, purple. Or pink or whatever color that is. And we are going to build a short stretch of the road into there just to make the line a little bit more efficient. Although that said, I ideally want to bring that into there. Let's let that run. And am I what I'm going to do is we are going to set this line to be wait until full. And there we go. This line, we're going to want to do the same thing. We are going to want to have this wait until full. Let's just throw these on screen. We'll just leave that on screen as well. And now to bump up demand, yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run a road. We are going to want to borrow 500,000. That, and we are going to want to basically bring it into right here. Yeah, that'll get most of the coverage. Once we have some money flowing in, we are going to, of course, be able to do a little bit more building as we desire. For now, we're in the point in the game where it's pretty much just build only that which is required. to want another freight depot right there. We are going to want a truck station here. Buy road vehicles. Set line, new line from there into there. We are going to call this. It is 1853. This is RF Gray. Oh no, this is not uh, Gray's. It's Dursley. oil transfer actually no oil transfer uh, no let's slow it down to speed one actually this is a yeah transfer so purplish pinkish and we want the truck you come back and we want you to wait until a full load. With 263k and you go back and really. This is already producing. You know what? Zoroaster. Let's buy another one.
Yeah, by the time this thing turns around. Uh, graze. Oil. Freight oil. And this is going to be. Freight Finery. Thirty four units, thirty five. And you are queued up waiting to go. For now, we're just going to send you out. And then we will full load. It's up to a production of 290, potential of 3 or 232, and we will set that to unlimited. Same thing over here. Come back here. Unlimited. I wish you could set that to default to unlimited rather than three minutes. Like, if I wanted to wait for a full load, I wanted to wait until a full load. It's, it's nice that the option exists to uh, have them leave prior to that but no if I want them to wait for a full load I want them to wait for a full load I know it can cause some issues with the frequency and all that and we got nice well we are going to ramp up the number of horse wagons and our Sultraton food we have 22 livestock sitting there and we have 20 livestock sitting there. Or actually, no, that's food. Over here, we have nothing sitting here. You killed your production. Really? You're up to 19%. Why is, why did this dry up? And now it starts producing it. That is so freaking annoying. And now we have 14 units sitting here. Let's buy a couple more. And we're at money, so let's borrow another Reptif. 4.5 million dollars borrowed. West Mulling Farm, yep. We have eight units of food sitting in there. And we have, yeah, we don't have profitability on that just because reasons. Come back over here. This thing has 41 units. What we're going to just do is we're going to set this. You can get going. Our other ship is over there. And now what I want to do is wait until this has a few units. We're going to buy another Zoroaster. And set to run on that line by the time this gets here it should have about probably 15 to 20 units and yeah this is basically what sky did with his uh, 
EPEC challenge that he set for himself. I should have seen this before. And it has 16 units in there, 17, that is nice. They run partially empty to start off with. But as you ramp up the frequency, what happens is, of course, this will ramp up production. This kind of line here where you don't have a road freight line initially operating seems to work the best. And this is up to a nice, keep production high, awesome. We have eight units sitting there. We are going to buy another for the West Malling Farm. We actually have 12 there. We're going to, yeah, we're going to keep ramping this up. West Malling Farm. And how much do we have sitting down here? We have 14 units of food. That's picked up 40 livestock. Nice. And now we have 18 units. Let's buy another Zoroaster. I should have put a, another one on sooner. That ship is there. This ship is returning empty. But there is 13 units of fuel waiting there. Sixteen units. This is producing, and it's turning some of it into uh, refined oil. And there you go. You picked up. We have thirty-eight point forty k in the bank. We have four point five million dollars in loans. We are going to buy another Zoroaster. Nice, 73K in the bank. It's July 18th. How are we doing overall? Water income of 229. It's only halfway through the year. But yeah, it did take Sky some time to uh, ramp the money up. Once he had things flowing, he was able to essentially get out of debt. So I'm, I'm trying this. It's a high risk. And we picked up 19. You made 44k and spent only about 23k. Nice. Ship there. You are going to pick up 32 units. There we go. So we have five ships on that line. That is seven minute frequency. We have five minute frequency on this line here. It's making 105k profit. This one's making 125k profit. That's nice. Look over here. We got lots of food. So what I'm going to do is we're going to buy a couple more. Oh, no, not Salterton food. We want to put you on RF Salterton. And you've got 40 livestock. Nice. We have 12 livestock sitting there. We have 10 sitting here. Let's buy another road vehicle. Actually, we're going to buy two. West Mulling Farm. And that is down to a 27 second frequency. have 28 livestock to be picked up and that is immediately heading out and we're gonna buy 
a couple more for the Salterton food line. One more for the RF Salterton line. Come back over here. We have 29. Let's put another ship on the line. Zoroaster. And that. Keep production high to upgrade in six months. That is nice to see. And three months for that. 14 units of food. So what we are going to do is bump that up. Oh. We're going to put those on the West Malink farm. Come on. Upgrade for me. You know you want to. 33% covered there. Only 24% covered there. We might want to start thinking about supplying elsewhere. One thing I could do is run shipping line from there to here. To bring, oh wait a minute, no, I, yeah, unfortunately, I would need two separate ships for that. Hmm. And over here, okay, we have pretty good coverage. Although with that said that there, Construction should very well be possible. Uh, right about there, we're gonna force it on the flat. to do is throw a that would be an interesting location although I wouldn't be able to really upgrade the roads all right well we'll do that for now we may remove it later on. Actually, we also have oil there. Could bring the oil in here, drive it up that way. Maybe even double this up. And we got lots more livestock sitting here. Let's those onto Salchard and food.
And you are bringing over 28 units. And you are bringing over 13 units. There are two units sitting there. Is this thing going to upgrade? And it does. Nice. And how did we do financially last year? Well, loss of $1.26 million, so... Yeah, we borrowed a couple million dollars there. We had 867k in income and only 416, 413k in running costs. Actually, that's pretty good. Property maintenance of 142, so that eats in on that. And yeah, we're up to 60k in uh, loan interest. Actually, 75k now. Yeah, we're going to need to find a way to pay off the loans. And we got 48 units sitting here. And this is picking up. Nice. And you are hauling 33. You're hauling 30 fuel back. You're hauling 16 fuel back. And 28 fuel back. So I'm thinking this is making a decent income. Yeah, it's going to be profitable. And we got 27 units of food, so or fuel. And not enough money, that's fine. We can borrow another 500,000. And we want that many. Dursley oil transfer. What I'm probably going to do is run Yeah, let's throw that there. We're gonna go with a Wilhelm one. And we're gonna set this to a new line. And this is going to be from here over to Dursley. SF Salterton Dursley At this point though what I'm probably going to do is take a break here things seem to be coming along quite well although we are continuing to accumulate the debt we are increasing our income in this case, we doubled our income from last year, nearly. Yeah, if we had doubled it, it'd be 872K, which is almost, yep, yeah, twice this year. We spent 140 or 1.4 million in new vehicles, which has really ramped up. Most of that has been, of course, ships, some new road uh, horse wagons. We have not set up any passenger lines, but I do want to get the cargo going which of course be nice and profitable because reasons we have 23 units sitting there we have three units of oil sitting there of course one already picked up 49 units there and things are looking quite nice for us we'll have to figure out where our next step is although with that said i have connected up Salterton with Dursley, a rather lengthy route. So what I might want to think about doing, since we now have that connection, is find some goods over here, like the construction materials. We have three options here. If we can bring them into here, even like, uh, yeah, this quarry down to here, and then run up to there. Or maybe even run to over there, back to here. That I'm thinking is an option. But we are going to do that in the next episode. Anyway, at this point in time, what I'd like to do is say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever European Free Play Edition. 
Things are coming along quite well for us and we have the potential to ramp things up even more. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.